Philip Mimbu, brethren and sisters? Okay. So we gathered here for a historical event. And when I say historical, it, it's because this is the first time that an event like this is being held in, in, in this part of Ghana. Um, and what we are here for, I think some of us know, but it is to celebrate the Black History Month. And the reason something that is usually celebrated, celebrated in America is brought to Ghana to be celebrated is um, Miss Rushumba feels the need to let us, those of us here, know the importance of relating to the story of the African in the diaspora. And so one way to relate to the story of the African in the diaspora is to get to know what it is that life is like for them and the journey they've had to take through before we we are here and to have them come home and interact with us and really want to come and make home here and things like that. It's important that we bridge the gap. So on the on location like this, uh, sister, um, so our sister but with her relations with the continent and some clans and families, she's um, crowned as a queen and she's addressed as Nanasika Kodje the first. And so we would have to address her as that Nanasika Kodje the first. And Nanasika Kodje the first is uh, known around the world as Roshumba Ajua, Miss Roshumba Ajua, and she is a consciously literate poet that respects and in a stand, when she says in a stand, it means have an in-depth of, of words, understand what we usually say, but she has, has coined her term in a stand. Uh, she understands the power of words, and she is a studier of history, what you say as students. She's a study of history, in particular African history. She knows that knowledge is the driver of change. So her favorite pastime is reading. She has her own YouTube show called Let's Talk and Grow with Mr. Shumba. She has written her first book called uh, Truth and Light Are One. It was published in 2019. It's a collection of poems. And if you, if you, you, can, you can get one. Um, her claim to fame is being a mother in a difficult environment that is conflict with her African cultural roots. She is known to create the magic through it all. And so today I'm coming here as one of the magic she's able to, to put together. So as I welcome her, can we give her a round of applause to tell us why we're here? Thank you. Thank you so much. I just always want to say that there's no one who's going to come save us. We are the ones we've been waiting for. So, you know, sometimes we think that one should be fair skinned and light hair long. They should be this, they should be that. But they sometimes will look like you. And they will look like your sister, your mother. Okay? Um, 
Rita means. Yeah. We know what Koki means. Yeah. But what does Sierra mean? This. What is Leo uh -huh. yeah. I'm going to give you part of it. Sierra means mountain. Uh, what does Leo mean? Okay. Sierra and Leo mean what? Yeah. That's correct. Jamaica, very small, very small, but very powerful. 
talking about America right now. America is a place where the people there have really made some powerful moves. So because I know it, I grew up in school there, I have a can. This can I made, and inside is information. I call the can, can we learn? Can we learn? Let's evolve.
to have the best of everything. Daily you are prepared to have the best of everything. This is why I can proudly see. I am an inventor of beauty beyond compare. You can bet your life I will get my fair share. What makes a true artist? I am inspired by a realist. I ever use efficiently my mind. Ultimate people I shall one day find. I am often asked, what is a black thing? It's a black movement that is refreshing as the month of spring. You feel you have been granted power to master anything. Within ourselves, we are possessed with everything. As African Americans, we have nothing else to lose. Our collective wisdom will not allow us again to be abused. You understand? Our collective wisdom will not allow anyone to abuse us ever again. Yes, never. Never. Okay. I am often asked, what is a black thing? Let us see, we're in February, what the new year will bring.